This lost escape is one that harkens back to the Middle Ages. In the Middle Ages, sometimes chaining a person up wasn't for security, it was for punishment. People were put in wrist manacles like these and hung from the ceiling, with weights attached to their feet. Sometimes they were put in brutal iron head cages like these. We're going to take a combination of a series of medieval tortures to complete this final escape, should I survive, and add something modern to it, the modern fate of suffocation. My wrists are going to be imprisoned in these. The head cage is going to be locked upon my head with my hands like this across the front of my body. A chain's going to be woven over my elbows here, pulled back behind my back, forcing my arms to my belly like this. Then a massive steel bar is going to be slowly tightened like a tourniquet of pain, tightening the elbow chains till my arms are just short of dislocation. Once that's done, that bar tightening my arms is going to be locked to the iron head cage, and that's where medieval ends in modern begins. This airtight plastic bag is going to be pulled over my upper body, strapped around my waist. I have to escape this torturous, dislocating position, get out of all the restraints so I can tear a hole in this bag before I run out of, what, a minute? Two minutes of air? Not much. Here we go. They have their music, 
perhaps their music is the most honest thing in the world. You hear people bitching about Marilyn Manson, and, and before that it was Alice Cooper going, Oh God, the music's warping our youth. Bullshit. Society's warping our youth. We've given them nothing to live up to, no aspirations. I'm trying to show them that an average guy with a lot of self-conviction can go out there and do what I do and roll the dice, take the chance, and maybe live. <laughs> watch a crowd go crazy at the end of an escape uh, where Steve comes out of a safe or uh, uh, backing off from a chainsaw and the people are yelling and screaming it's exciting time. Nobody else could come up with these things. He's twisted. Yeah, uh, escape down on New Year's Eve with the safe. It, it was amazing to people. Cremation chamber on New Year's Eve 2005. Locked in a box, hit by flamethrowers from either side and it turned into an oven. You are truly gonna put your life on the line tonight. You're gonna be handcuffed, chained, locked yep. inside a vault. The vault is gonna be set on fire. Then you have to find your way out. Are you frightened? Because I know I am. Well, the other day we were performing it. I got inside, the torches uh, heated up the box, the vault, and it set my uh, my jacket on fire. You probably cook like a turkey in there. I'm very nervous. My biggest concern right now is getting Steve through this alive. I think he's the craziest son of a bitch I've ever seen. Stepping out to do something like this makes me very, very concerned, naturally for my safety, but also because it's never been done before. It's a virtual oven. The door to the safe is going to be open. There's handcuffs by a welded chain attached to the door. I'm going to be handcuffed in those, step inside the safe, the door is going to be slammed shut, and then the handle's turned to throw the bolts, combination dial is going to be spun. There's no way to reach that dial or the lock mechanism from the inside. The flames are going to be turned on, heating the safe up in about a minute to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. I have to get out before the oxygen is depleted or before I catch fire. I just sincerely hope that I'm out in less than a minute. Marching two minutes! I don't believe okay, this. Okay, Marissa, he should be out of there by now. What's it like to be terrified he in the middle of an minutes. escape? It's about 400 degrees in that vault! You can't be terrified. How can he breathe? <laughs> if you're terrified, He's handcuffed and die. chained to the vault. Pain for me is a ritual of passage to achieve freedom. That's it. Well, I hope you've enjoyed Too Deadly for Prime Time Volume 1. We're cooking out Volume 2. It's in the works. And in the meantime, keep an eye open for me on www.thedarkmaster.com. We've got a bunch of really twisted shit coming your way. Um, if you thought the escapes tonight were dangerous, in the future we've got one where I'm stretched on a medieval rack and that's going to be lowered under 30 feet of lake water. That's never been done before. We keep pushing the envelope, pushing it, pushing it, till it breaks.